All right, back to another album review. The release of John Wick Chapter 4 Around the Corner. I like to, I think it'd be a great time to review the soundtracks of the first three movies. That being said, today's review is on the soundtrack of the first John Wick film. The film was directed by Chad Stahelski and David Leach, and stars Keanu Reeves as the title character. The film was released on October 24th, 2014, and, and ended up being my favorite film of 2014. On a side note, the John Wick films have heavily influenced my writing. Anyways, the soundtrack was released on October 21st, 2014 on Bury Sarabande, which is a record label that Concord uses for releasing soundtracks on. Universal Music Group served as a distributor up until 2019. In 2019 going forward, Concord served as the distributor. Now, the soundtrack was composed by Tyler Bates and Joel J. Richard. We also produced the soundtrack with help from David Island, I mean, from Dylan Island. Uh, Robert Townsend was the executive producer. Uh, Tyler played the guitar, bass, and keyboards. Joel played guitar, bass, keyboards, uh, balalaika, and percussion. They also had Gil Sharon on drums. And, uh, and Wolfgang Mathis on keyboards. The soundtrack was prepared by Joanne Higginbottom, recorded by Robert Carranza, mixed by, by Wolfgang Mathis, and edited by Brian Richards. So Joanne and, uh, so Joanne and Wolfgang would go on to work on the soundtrack for Atomic Blondes, which I, even though I already reviewed that soundtrack. Anyways, before we get into the songs, I'd like to mention that the song Killing Strangers by Marilyn Manson was featured in the movie, but it's not featured on the soundtrack. Considering the fact that, that Manson is a serial abuser who has done a lot of fucked up shit, I think it's for the best that the song was excluded. With that out of the way, let's discuss the songs. The first six songs are by Tyler Bates and Joel J. Richard. These are Every Ending Has a Beginning, Story of Wick, John Mourns, Assassins, Dear John, and Daisy. My favorite of these is Assassins, especially because the scene that this song appeared in basically showed us how much of a fucking badass John Wick is. John had 76 kills in the movie, and most of them are assholes he killed with headshots. Serves those comic bastards right for murdering his dog and stealing his Mustang. Anyways, the next song is Evil Man Blues by the Candy Shop Boys. The song is written by, by Leonard Feather and Lionel Hampton, meaning that the song is actually a cover. The Candy Shop Boys actually do appear in the movie performing the song. At that is The Red Circle by Lake Castlevania. And uh, this is the first of four songs that Lake Castlevania made for the movie. Next up are five songs by Tyler and Joel, Lord of the Wolf, Iosef the Terrible, Chop Shop, Baba Yaga, and On the Hunt. Up next is uh, In My Mind by M86 and Suzy Q. That's followed up by The Drowning by Lake Castlevania. We followed up with Think by Kaleida. I actually mentioned Kaleida in my review of the soundtrack for Atomic Blonde because she sang a cover of 99 Loof Balloons, even though the original version is also on that soundtrack. The songs after that are LED Spirals and Shots Fired by Lake Castlevania. These are played during what's arguably the best and most badass scene of the entire movie. The following three tracks are, Tyler and, are from Tyler and Joel, Old Friend Marcus, Hotel Throwdown, and Warehouse Smackdown. What comes next is Who You're Talking To, Man, by Sandra with Nostalgia. Tyler Bates helped her to write the lyrics, which I think is really awesome. There's also a lyric video that was made for the song, and I'm including a link in the description. The lyric video does contain uh, spoilers in the movie, so watch the, so watch the video at your own risk. Now, the last five songs are by Tyler and Joel. Membership Revoked. Unfortunate Priest, Doc Shootout, No More Guns, and Be Seeing You. I can't find any info on how the soundtrack formed commercially. From what I've seen is that the soundtrack uh, mostly received positive reviews from critics. In fact, Blueprint Review gave it 4.5 stars out of 5. 
It has also been received exceptionally well on Amazon and Discogs. Now for my thoughts. I think this soundtrack fits the movie perfectly. If I were to make a list of my favorite movie soundtracks, you know damn well I'd include this. Overall, I strongly recommend this soundtrack. Now as part where I question you, have you listened to the soundtrack to John Wick? If so, what are your thoughts on it? What's your favorite song from it? Do you think Tyler Bates and Joel J. Richard were the right composers for the film? How glad are you that the Marilyn Manson song was excluded from the soundtrack? Let me know in the comments. If you liked the video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Be sure to press the notification bell to notify of future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon with another video.